Hey guys, Nick here from Windows Mobile Power User. Microsoft has just released Windows 10 Mobile 10,536 and is now available to the fast string of insiders to download and install. The latest Windows 10 Mobile build comes with a couple of new improvements and bug fixes. Here's a list of the fixes and new features. Insider Hub is now included again. A mobile hotspot functionality has been fixed. Voice input has been updated to add support for Japanese speech recognition. Single hop updates are available again from the Windows Phone 8.1 to Windows 10 Mobile Insider Preview for all devices. Two-factor authentication is fixed when setting up a device for both text and phone authentication. Start screen will successfully load instead of failing with loading. Displayed in a loop until the device is rebooted. Quiet hours or do not disturb has been fixed. And the delay in showing date and time on the lock screen has been improved. Oh, and the Photos app has been updated to include features that introduces Folder View, which makes it easy for you to see your OneDrive and PC folders in the Photos app, and you can also see folders on your SD card. There's now a new one-handed mode, which was originally released for larger phones, but since it was a widely requested feature by insiders, it was finally implemented. You can activate it by holding down the Start button. Even though this build comes with new features and bug fixes, there are a few known ones as well. After rebooting your phone, you won't see notifications such as new messages until you unlock your phone. After that, you should see the notifications for new messages just fine. Z Storage appears in the Settings app under System and clicking on it causes the Settings app to crash. Camera Upload to OneDrive may not be enabled based on prior settings. To fix this, make sure you are running the latest version of OneDrive by opening the top left navigation bar, then settings on the right to verify that camera upload is turned on and you have the latest app, which is version 17.2 at this time. Insiders will not be able to move from slow to fast rings temporarily. With all of these improvements, are you going to make the jump to Windows 10 Mobile Preview? If not, tell us why in the comments below. And to get Windows 10 Mobile, you'll need to join the Windows Insider program by heading over to the App Store and download the application. Keep in mind that if you're already a part of the Windows Insider program, you can get the latest update by heading over to Phone Update and check for updates.